This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today we're going to take a look at a new truck and a new hook lift item by our good friend 59. He just keeps adding to his ever-growing portfolio of hook lift vehicles and tools. And today we've got a Freightliner FLD120 hook lift. We've got an updated Western Star 4900, and we've got a hook lift auger, auger tank uh, to take a look at. Let's go ahead and take a look at these in the shop. So if we go to vehicles and trucks, we're going to basically first take a look at the Freightliner FLD120. And this is uh, basically an edit, I believe, of the Hulk um, truck because we know that the um, Western Star is an edit of the Warrior in-game truck. So I believe this is an edit of the Hulk. Here we are. Now, what I like what, he, what he's done here is no matter what color we pick, we get this metallic look going on. So we have two-tone. We've got a bottom and a top here. We can change the main color to, I don't know, let's go with Lemkin Blue. You can see we still have that that metallic look to it, the metal flake going on. And then we've got the accent color. Let's go with, uh, uh, let's go with, I don't know what would look good with blue. Maybe, maybe a good old, old beige, maybe. Let's go with blue and a white. Part of, there we go, maybe that. All right, that looks pretty decent. And then we have our choices of engine. Uh, we've got the Detroit diesel 12.8 liter at 350 horsepower, 14.8 liter at 450 horsepower, and the Cummins X15 15 liter at 600 horsepower. And we've got our choice of rear axles. We've got four axles liftable where the front axle here in the back can go up and down. We've got three axles type one where the two rear axles are at the end of the frame. Three axles type two, basically shift everything up a little bit. So we should have a shorter turning radius with this. Or just go two axles where we have one rear axle. Now this would probably be if we were hauling light loads as opposed to maybe a big old heavy container of grain. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go with, let's just go with the two axles in the rear for this particular configuration. And as configured with the stock engine, uh, two uh, color changes and the axle change. We are at $146,000, 74,046 to lease, fourteen sixty per day, and $3,066 per operating hour. Go ahead and take a look at that one. That would be this one here, which I also have equipped with a um, Case IH Red and a... Uh, a white, I think, and then I decided to take and continue that theme with the Agco hook lift in case red and white, two tone. I don't know. I think that came out pretty darn good looking. Let's go over here and take a look at the uh, the metal flake blue and uh, and dark brown or gray. Not too bad looking. Got our two rear axles towards the back jump on in here and fire it up hit the horn oops not too keen on the horn but at any rate we got our front lights basically we have one stage of lights with this would be nice if the, uh, the lights on the air cleaners would uh, come on. You have reverse lights. There are four-way blinkers. We got our left and our right. 
do have brake lights also. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the track IR on so we can look around inside because my, uh, my interior mouse is locked at this point. So I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and center the camera here. So now we can look around, so we can check out our dash. We do have, it's hard to see during the daylight, but we do have a dash that is lighting up. Steering wheel, really like that Freightliner logo there. Looks really nice. But you can see the uh, let's let's zoom out here. Let's let's try to do a uh, circle here. See this thing has a pretty big turning radius. Go ahead and take that over there. And let's take a look at the same truck in the three axle variant with the case theme. You'll see what we do is with the left mouse button we go up and down and we can raise and lower that that drop axle. Okay. Of course we can drop the hook lift. Should we so wish? Alright, now let's go ahead and take a little look at the updated Western Star truck. Go in the shop, we go to trucks, come over here to the Western Star 4900 SB day cab. Base price is $135,000, 6885 to lease, $1,350 per day, and $2,835 per operating hour. This one we have the choice of main color. Go back and hit our Lampkin blue, and this is more of a just a matte, nothing special going on, no uh, no metal flake or anything looking like that. Change our rim color, should we so wish, and we can change the design color from chrome to stainless steel. And what that changes is it changes the front grille, changes the air cleaners and the exhaust stack. So we are at stainless. We'll go to chrome, nice and shiny. So we're going to leave it on chrome because the other one that is John Deere green I have with stainless and we can just compare those. So we've got the same engine options as the other truck, Detroit Diesel 12.8, 14.8, and the Cummins X15 15 liter. And then we have the same axle options. I believe the axle options are really what was been added to this update of the Western Star. We've got four axles liftable. Type 1 and Type 2 on the two axles, and then a single two axle variant. We're going to get the two axle variant just to see how it looks. Because I've got on this one, I've got the two axles shifted up. Okay. Here we are, same truck in Limpkin Blue compared to this one in Limpkin Blue. You can really see how it's got that kind of metal, metallic look to it compared to this blue right here which is the same it's the same blue I think this truck looks pretty darn cool with the uh, the rims like that and everything so if we get into this one see the Western Star on the steering wheel the cat the gauges do light up but again it's daytime it's hard to see on the inside Nice clean interior, but again, it's it's a it's a rehash of the uh, the in-game Warrior truck, though it, it may not look exactly like a Western Star as far as the cab lines and everything. But uh, 
it's more of a Western star in spirit than maybe in real representation. So again, we've got our reverse lights, we've got our brake lights, we've got our four ways, we've got front lights, which includes some running lights on the bottom. Second stage lights includes the top lights and high beams. And that is it there. Let's see. Let's see if this truck has any better of a turning radius than the other ones did. I mean, it should because the axle is closer to the front. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Then just park this back here. We'll come over here and we'll take a look at the green variant. Of course, it's just the same, just has the axles, two axles shifted up a little bit. And while we're looking at that, let's go ahead and look at this hook lift um, overloader wagon. So you can see the auger actually is in three parts when you unfold it. Folds into three parts. Pretty big auger. Now it is in a fixed position. We can't adjust it up, down, left, or right, or up or down, and we can't angle the output at all. Uh, it does have a light on the auger arm. It's pretty cool. We also have lights on the back of the uh, container. Which is nice, and we can open and fold, open and close the canvas top. Kind of like how we've got that rippled effect going on, and then we've got that auger in the middle. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the shop. So if we go to tools and then auger wagons, you see we've got the pecan auger container, forty-five thousand dollars, holds fifty-two thousand liter. Holds 52,000 liters of product. Holds all of our standard grains, including seed and solid fertilizer. We go in here, we can see we have a choice of main color and design color. So the main color is the top, and the design color is the bottom. Red and black theme going on. Let's go with red and light red. Now that just doesn't look right. Red and orange. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. And we have a choice of logo. We can go with Agco. See that? We probably need something a little bit lighter. Go with Agco. You know what? There, that, that looks better. We can go with Car Cargotronic. Pecan brand, I guess. We can go with John Deere, which we already just saw. And we can go with the IT Runner logo. Or we could just go unbranded if you will. They didn't fix that up. Oh, I should tell you the lease costs. So again, base price is $45,000, $22,295 to lease, $450 per day, and $945 per operating hour. Here we go. Got our container. Nice ladder on the front. Very robust. The only thing I would worry about would be, you know, on the truck, this thing is pretty darn tall. I'd be a little unsure of the, uh, the size harvester that you would need in order to empty into that. I mean, I'm sure the big harvesters, like the big case, the big Fent, um, and probably the big uh, John Deere wouldn't have too much problems. You know, I'm sure these four harvesters are going to be more than ample tall enough. But when we get down here to maybe this Activa 7347, the Ronald Smash, or definitely the New Holland, I would be worried they would be a little bit too short. Let's just go ahead and get... Let's get one of each of these 
smaller harvesters just to check it out. Right, might as well while we're doing this video. All right, so the Ronald Smash clips through the trailer a little bit, but in theory, it would work. Okay, that's good. The Ronald Smash works. I suspect the Fent will work. Although the Fent comes more straight out. Do the pipe. Let's do this. Turn that off. Huh. Can't extend the pipe, but if we look at where the pipe is. Yeah, this one this one would have definitely have a problem. Um, the pipe is too short. I can't extend this one either. Look at that. I don't think it has anything to do with this one being out, does it? Alright, well, I don't understand why Unfold Harvester. Now I'll pipe out. Oh. This one, pretty much barely, barely is going to fit there. Okay. But yeah, the Massey here is definitely not going to work. Let's unfold it and then pipe out. And we're going to. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe we're better now. Piped out and kind of rotated it up, angled up, so. Yeah, it's gonna work. Alright, cool beans. So, even though it's up on the truck, and even though it is pretty high, it looks like it will work with all of the harvesters other than maybe super small, super small one. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the uh, of the update to the Western Star, the new Freightliner, and the Pecan Hooklift Auger Truck, Auger Trailer. And again, all of these mods are by 5.9. It's got a collection of other hooklift items and trucks over at his website. I'm going to go ahead and link to that in the description below, as well as to all three of these mods over at modhub.us. So until next time. Happy farming.